Can I have your name and batch number, please? Hang on. Hi, how are you today? What type of public records uh, do you guys release? Like if I wanna release some, uh, I wanna request some records. What do you guys release to the public? What, what, what do you have? We just wanna make a public records request. Anything that you can give us uh, information to the public? I'm not looking for a particular case, more of a generic public records requests uh, sheet, if you have it. Okay. What's with the clear curtains? <laughs> Those are shower curtains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we don't breathe on each other. Do you think that's effective? <laughs> I remember when COVID started, they were using these at the United States Post Office as well. Yeah. I think, I think people are just like, we're wanting something to block them from, yeah. Yeah. Something's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. That's what I told my ex the whole time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, good, good thing you got that. You guys actually got a great office because it's not too incredibly lit, and sometimes that can be a real pain in the butt. I'm sure it makes it easier to take it out. What is that? That dude looking around, throwing stuff out the windows. Can I have your name and batch number, please? Batch number six one three nine. Thank you. Stop throwing shit out the window. Is he throwing like literal, literally shit or just stuff? <laughs> Let's hope it's not feces. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> that happened before at an anti for protest. They were literally scooping up horse manure and throwing at people with their bare hands. <coughs> I don't think I hate anybody that much. Can you tell us what happened here today, ma'am? I have no idea. And you're a cop? You don't know what's going on? I, I figured you'd make an investigation. It's all right. It's sometimes good to mind your own business. <laughs> Can I have your name, ma'am, please? It's Garcia. Garcia, thank you yes. very much. Can you tell us what happened? So, I'm just gonna say this. I was standing out here, I was already out here. He got escorted out by a deputy. He's cussing everybody out. He's bothering people. He's throwing stuff at the windows. He just walked across the street. Other than that, I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Nothing well, you came out great. on the radio. Thank that's you. Great. They were able to de-escalate the situation without putting somebody in handcuffs. And uh, that's a really a testament to your ability. So thank you very I much. Mean, I mean, if I'm not involved in the situation, I'm not going to get involved in the situation. I don't care if he's yelling at me or whatever. He can yell at me all he wants. It's the First Amendment. Yeah. As long as he's not speaking violence, right? Yeah. As long as he doesn't lay hands on me or anybody else, we're good. Awesome, man. We're you're good. You're good. You're a good guy. Second Amendment. Yeah, Thank you. Like Thank you. Thank you. One. Can I have your name uh, and batch number, please? The hall now. He's, uh, Can I have your name, I sir? Know if he broke the door, the sir, I, I need your name. So, you can't come in this way, sir. You gotta please go don't touch door. me. This is the exit door. She touched me. She put her hand on me. You touched me. You touch that's that's an assault forward. Why are you guys talking to people like that? <laughs> 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 I don't know what sign she's talking about, but that was rude. Yes, sir. Can I have 
Ah, hi. Welcome to the People's Building. Please. I don't appreciate the way that she raised her voice at me when we walked in. Do you guys usually? You can talk to her super chill. The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two oh really well yeah, well right now before respond. before you continue we have thousands watching so you anything you want to say about this uh the service today you can let us know right here she's rude as fuck okay rude as fuck. i asked her can i get my stuff she was rude when i said could you pull the basket down yeah and she's um and then she tried to tell me to take my hood down after i proceeded to say something to her but she watched huh. me walk in with my hood on huh. and she wanted to be rude to say something when i got when i said something to her. Oh. Oh. she must be extremely rude then if we have people they don't give a fuck. I know, I, I know they don't care, but we have a lot of people that care that are watching this video right now. So we need to, we need you to go to Auditing America on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and you, and you can find us everywhere. You can subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and and see how your public servants treat you. I don't answer questions. I'm working on a video. I know, but you're here for business. I'm trying correct, to correct. Video we recording is also. I'm not loitering. This is this is uh. You need to loitering is a crime. I'm working on a video. I'm working on a video. I understand. That, so don't say I'm loitering. Business, so this is loitering. business. The loitering. I'm conducting business right now, yeah. man. Uh, yeah. Why don't you Why don't you come with us over there if you're so concerned? Sorry. You want to say that we're loitering because we're working on a video? Did you know that we're engaged in a constitutionally That's protected right. activity right. and it cannot be considered loitering? Okay. We haven't been rude to anyone since we got here. So we're just working on a video. Are you going to the DMV? Yeah, it's just right up the stairs and then you make a right. Oh. How, how long you been a cop for, bro? I've been here two years. Two years? So December, I started in December 2019. Oh, nice, nice. We but think I just work in the courthouse. I don't work the jail. I don't. Work you're the like streets. in the you're like in the courtroom, making yeah, sure everything is much. safe. So Fridays we do traffic work. So basically, I just seat everybody in the courtroom, make sure everybody follows the order, make sure they don't hurt each other. That's good. What Pretty type much. is this? Like uh, misdemeanor court? Yeah. So all this all this is misdemeanors. Um. We're usually done by like 10.30. 10 some, some weeks, I mean, go later than others. Right now, it's the time for the attorneys to come in, work things out with their clients, sit with the judge, talk to the judge, but. Are you thinking about working uh, out in, in like in the streets? That's my plan. Yeah. But I don't know when I want to do it. Yeah. So I just. We need more officers humble like you, bro. Yeah. Out there. Uh, there is a lot, mm -hmm. but. We do uh, we do vi uh, videos about the police officers in town and in, in different towns, and we we get a lot of bad reactions sometimes. And uh, although the First Amendment protects us when we want to say mean things, we ne we yeah. choose not to, and and we still get our uh, pr pretty much shit from police a lot of police officers mm -hmm. because of we're uh, video recording them. But you're very respectful, bro. We need more people like yourself uh, yeah. on the team. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just trying. I mean, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like... This guy's really good, bro. <laughs> he, I tell him we need him out there in the streets as well because he only works here in the courthouse. Yeah. But, but he wants to, so... Good. Yeah, we need to get our knowledge about the Constitution. It's a, it's a stepping stone thing. They started the court security program after all the shooting, the shooting the two deputies in 2018. They started working on the program, overhauling how we do security. The deputies here? So in 2018, June 2018, we had two deputies shot next door. At the, at the city hall? No, at the um, community corrections building next door. Okay. There's two courtrooms over in that building as well. They were escorting an inmate out into the Sally Court. They're going to bring him back over to the jail. He disarmed one of them and shot both of them. 
Wow. So after that happened, they started looking and saying, at that time, the city was doing security of the courthouse. So when you have Kansas State statutes, you look at the statutes, the sheriff actually has protection of the courthouse according to statutes. So the sheriff at the time decided, hey, we're going to get our own people running and doing the security for the courthouse. So they just developed the program to emulate TSA kind of. Uh, at the same time, they intended it really for people like me who I don't know if I want to go into law enforcement, but I don't want to make that jump right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Or people who are retired and looking for something a little bit slower. So you have a mixture of everybody who's either wanting to be in law enforcement, retired, looking for something slower. Like, I mean, just like me, I'm, I'm just, we get all the same training. Mm -hmm. We have training monthly. We have training sometimes weekly depending on what's needed and so I just wanted to say hey this gives me experience gives me experience that I need gives me the interactions interacting with the public interacting with people figuring out how to deal with different situations and stuff like that so I've really grown over the last two years mm -hmm. as a person I was kind of awkward socially kind of just you know I still awkward socially I don't yeah honest. but um, I don't think so I think you're. I, I think you're one of the best officers we've met in the past we, few months. We, Actually, in the past, yeah. So you guys just travel around the country and. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah we we go we, not just officers. We do different things. Uh, we also uh, interview uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. We ask questions that sometimes the mainstream uh, news won't. And you know, we just walk up there with uh, with no makeup. And, and and no lies you know yeah, we just, just we're just on the street, what's going on? yes yes just we're exercising our first amendment freedom of the press mm -hmm. and we're bringing more awareness in that because um we're getting a lot of uh, police officers <laughs> requesting press passes mm -hmm. and we all know that we don't need a press pass yeah. here in the united states as long as we're in, we're in a public place it should be okay but apparently we need a lot of people to to be educated on that because uh, that's what's uh, that's what's uh, going on in our in our videos. People yep. don't people start going off disrespecting us because we're video recording. We always keep our distance. We're always always respectful, but the other person is the one, always the one that starts uh, yeah. giving us the content. So, yeah. so I gotta but, go relieve somebody. Thank somebody you, brother. Right now. Thank you. You're very so, nice. Take care. Have a good day, guys. You too, brother. Be safe and keep your, keep your <laughs> trying, <guys. I'm> trying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Keep up the good work.